sounds like I'm back in court. Never have I ever been arrested. I think I've been set up here. Yeah, yeah, straight through window, then I pulled him back out and finished him off. Police wouldn't arrest me, they were scared of me. <laughs> Since that day on, I have never, ever, ever touched drugs. GBH, grievous bodily harm, <laughs> assault. <laughs> oh my God, this is the first time you're on my channel. Oh, help. <laughs> Are you excited? No, I'm nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. Hi everyone, it's Millie. So, today I am joined with my dad. Hello! <laughs> Hi everybody! So I'm staying at my dad's for a few days and I finally convinced him to be in a video. He hates being on camera or his photo taken or anything, but he agreed to this video. That's what love is. I'm regretting it already. <laughs> and we're going to be playing Never Have I Ever, so we're going straight in for it. I've got the questions ready. I promise to tell the truth. I promise to tell the truth. <laughs> the whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. Sounds like I'm back in court. Never have I ever been arrested. I think I've been set up here. <laughs> questions. What was your story? Oh my God. Well, <laughs> well it doesn't sound good, does it, on camera? A brief overview, if you can tell it. Or the, one, the ones that you can tell. We're all, all, all for fighting, really. Never started the fights. Always finished them. Never lost a fight. Never, ever lost a fight. No. <laughs> one story, I once on my way home and had a reputation and I was walking past a shop window and opposite forums were a bus stop and some of the lads who lived in here and yeah, they were yeah. waiting for the bus to take them home last bus the two of them they started abusing me and older than me one, what were, were, they one were a bodybuilder Dick, oh Dick and a wrecking yard and that so oh, they come yeah, across yeah. What, because of your reputation? Yeah, so oh. they come across and set on me and I threw one through four and shot window, threw him through window and <laughs> two tele smash? Yeah, yeah, really? straight through window, then I pulled him back out and finished him off. Then the other one I put him through <laughs> telephone box window, and there were red tele two telephone boxes red and I put him through there. Then police come, surrounded me and then police wouldn't arrest me, they were scared of me. <laughs> scared of me because they wanted to, me to get in van I said if you want me in van get me in van and none of them will come forward so in the end I just got myself in van did you get charged and stuff so yeah. it was on your record yeah can I just mention something that always plays on my mind and I still can't believe it my mum and my dad dated like they were together for years it just doesn't fit Something's just not right about it. If you watch my videos with my mum and see what she's like compared to my dad. Ugh, disturbing, honestly. Next one is, never have I ever been to court. Never. I've definitely been stitched up here, are I? What were you in court for? Fighting again? ABH, actual body arm, GBH, grievous bodily arm, <laughs> assault. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, I shouldn't be laughing, should I? Really, magistrates, so we're on first name terms with him. Hiya, it's fun again. Oh, we've been fighting with this weekend. So my dad's actual name is Paul, but he's always had this nickname Spud, but it doesn't sound anything like Paul. I don't really, if someone says Paul, I don't really look round, because yeah. everybody calls me Spud. Did you ever go to prison? Oh yeah, that a few times, overnight, a couple of days ago. But uh, I went to went to prison at an attendance centre. What's an attendance centre? <clears throat> I had to go every Saturday, I think it was like eight till five, so many months. Oh God, so that's Doing long. carpentry and doing other bits and bats. I was sick of me in court for fighting, so they had to punish me some other way. Oh, so okay. Instead of fighting, fighting, so they sent me to an attendance centre. Oh, okay, yeah, makes sense. I remember when I was younger, it was just such a random memory, but you were like, Millie, look at my head. And then um, she was like, I got into a fight, I headbutted someone, and then Julie was like, oh, Paul, stop it, you didn't, you didn't. And then <laughs> I still don't know to this day whether that was or not. Um, never have I ever shoplifted. Three, two, one. <laughs> what did you shoplift? Be about nine or ten year old, and I used to be into soldiers, toy soldiers. The older boys encouraged me to pinch a box, and I was so so nervous, so nervous. And I took this box, run out to shop, and she saw me. One of the ladies, because it was Barnos, a little town, everybody knew, everybody knows everybody. So the uh, so shopkeeper went to his house and told me dad what I'd done. Like oh no! And oh my god, got a good idea, wasn't the word? Absolutely. <laughs> battered me did me dad i've never ever ever stole from that day on um so i said i have but 
I've only ever stolen like sweets, like pick and mix sweets and stuff like that. Never have I ever peed the bed over 18. You have. <laughs> what, when you've been drunk and stuff? I peed on a trampoline once when I was younger. I was holding in a wee and then my friend started jumping on the trampoline and then I weed all over her trampoline. Never have I ever done drugs. <laughs> what do you class as drugs? Dope? Yeah, that's class. All right then, so I have then. Oh hey, I just wanted to pop in here and say that YouTube tells me that over 60% of the people that watch this video aren't subscribed to me, so if you guys want to hear more stories about the people my dad has beaten up, his prison experiences and more, please subscribe. I'd only be about 18 and I never touched it and I was never interested to be honest. So once in Green Street, which is a club in Barn Oldwick, and, and they said, hey, have a drag of this food. So I had a couple of drags, made me go tired and I, like that, I could hardly keep my eyes open. Were you drunk as well? Well, no, not really, oh, okay. not really, I mean, I'll, so it actually spoiled me night. And a week after, we were back down at my friends, and he said, here, have some more of this. Smoked a fair lot of it, and I ended up on my hands and knees, crawling in, his, crawling out. And his mum had a pet pantry, and I crawled into pantry, and she had, like, a bag hung up with old bags of crisp in and I ate 12 <laughs> bags of crisp and a packet of biscuits. Then after, they said it's called munchies. Oh, yeah, you yeah. get munchies and that were it, and oh, I've really? never, and since that day on, I have never, ever, ever touched drugs, so basically I've had a bit of a joint and half a joint when I were 18. Oh, okay, fair. I've never, ever touched it since. Do you want to see my answer? Well, I know what yours will be. <laughs> Why do you expect it? <laughs> but I went to Amsterdam. You got to, I said this to my mum, you've got to immerse yourself in the culture, you know? Not like, I'm not talking about like heroin and yeah. stuff like that. Never have I ever questioned my sexuality. Three, two, one. That's 100%. <laughs> I say never. I mean, I've like, upon, I pondered it and just been like, wait, like, it could it? And then I'm just like, no, not really. But I, everyone kind of, when they answer this, they all say that they've like pondered it and thought about it. 100% never. Never. I would say like, it would be like, I have for like two seconds and then been like, no. Nah. I guess in, in nowadays. It's yeah, I was gonna say that back when I you know, it would frown on you either, or you wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum kind of said the same. She was just like, it wasn't really late. You just... a, and I can even say I've never had no gay tendencies neither. <laughs> Not, Not even when I've been drink drunk. <laughs> <laughs> never have I ever cheated on someone. <laughs> My stepmom's like, you stood next to the camera as well. <laughs> Three, two, one. Not think I have never. Mm. I asked my mum this question and she was like, she, she said she, she said she kissed someone when she was married to her first husband But it was just like peck when she was drunk and I was like, what? Oh, I've done like, that, is that class of cheating? <laughs> yes! Yeah, but Julie were there, she were well mad and I got well done with some <laughs> friends of ours, or in Rodney Yes! I'm not surprised! In Rodney, then she walked past and she gave us a kiss and I give her a kiss and I think it was a little bit more than a kiss <laughs> Was it a snob or a kiss? From her, yeah. Oh, from, from her, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. Her. What did, oh, your dad was still in trouble. He's <laughs> just like, he's watching it like, um... I'm like, what? Never have I ever had a one night stand. The story behind that at all. <laughs> do I, do you want to tell the story? Is it a good story? Yeah, I will do. Yeah, yeah. okay, tell yeah. it. When I first first started playing rugby, in Clitheroe with rugby lads, and I got talking to this lass, they left and I ended up stopping with her. I, I got up in the morning, her dad owned the chain, <laughs> chain of uh, ice cream vans. I went out with her Sunday, and it was really rough, and she, she was from a rough family, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Really rough family. Anyway, she introduced me to a guy, and he took a dislike to me. Then he said, where are you from? Then he said, I don't like people from all that way. And his coat moved, and he had a gun in an old in his do so that was time for me to go I never saw her again you can't win when it comes to a gun you can't no. win a fair fight no 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 I knew when I were beaten never have I ever been skinny dipping you have a lot or just oh, loads of times with rugby lads when we've been on tour oh yeah fair I haven't I don't know why it's just never never come up never have I ever got a tattoo without telling my parents I have have you that one. Yeah, the evidence. It's the same mum. <laughs> so, and dad. I know you got mum and dad on it so that they didn't get as annoyed. Annoyed, yeah. So I thought if I get mum and dad on it, maybe go down a bit better. <laughs> I got this tattoo when I was 17 in Barcelona, and you found out about it like pretty much like afterwards. Where I got no, it I always it. find out. Julie always shows me when <laughs> she looks on her. 
social media or Facebook because me. I don't do Facebook or all, do I? Yeah, it was my mum that I didn't tell and then I filmed her reaction and told her on the spot. <laughs> Never have I ever lied in this game. Did you not lie? No, anyway. why would I lie? Got good, nice. But yeah, how do you find that? You're all done okay. now, you can breathe. Okay. Can I breathe? Can I relax? Yeah. <laughs> thought there was another question you were going to ask me, but you didn't ask me that. What was the question? No, it don't matter now. Have you got a story with it? No. Oh, okay. A story with every question. I know you will do when you get to 51, especially <laughs> when you're done where I'm done. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's, there can be more videos in the future, so if you guys want to see any more videos from my dad next time, anything in particular, let me know in the comment section. Are you excited? Yeah, you can even ask me some questions if you want. I might not tell you the truth. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!